Hey guys, what's going on? James here, and in this video today, we're going to be talking about how the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have signed defensive lineman Deidre Sennett to a one-year deal worth the veteran minimum. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers continue to add to the depth of their defensive line, add competition to that position group, Deidre Sennett is the latest addition. For everybody who enjoys Florida college sports, Deidre Sennett did go to USF, so the Buccaneers bring in a local homegrown talent here in Sennett who will, again, compete for a spot along the Buccaneers' defensive line as a backup player. And this is a fine move, in my opinion. I think that it is good to add depth. It is good to add competition, especially at the defensive line, a position group that I know a lot of people are still clamoring for to have more people added, to have more competition added to that position group. Well, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers just added a new face into that mix. And the history of Deidre Sennett is actually pretty cool. Uh, he did go to USF. He was a third-round draft pick back in 2018 from the Atlanta Falcons. So he was a relatively high draft pick, right? He was a mid-round guy along that defensive line, six foot one, little over 300 pounds. So he's going to slot in very well to what the Buccaneers like to have along that defensive line. The big, beefy guys down there in that D-line unit. Yeah, Deidre Sennett is going to fit right in into that mix there. But the biggest reason as to why Senate did not work out with the Atlanta Falcons was mainly due to injuries. There was a lot of situations where Senate was missing games due to injuries time and time and time again. And actually, when he was officially released by the Atlanta Falcons, I believe in November of 2021, he was initially waived and then placed on the injured reserve and then obviously went about his business in terms of his contract clearing and all these other, other different types of things, right? But now he's a free agent. He's decided to sign with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, looking to get his career back on track, build some more momentum for himself as a back backup role player type of situation and there may be an opportunity here for him in Tampa Bay. You look at the landscape of the defensive line right now, and Dominican Sue is still not re-signed. Will Golson was brought back. Vita Bay is here. Raheem Nunez Rochez is here. But you could still have a very healthy competition at the backup defensive end spots yet again this year. It, it seems like that that's always a pretty heated, pretty strong competition that happens uh, year in and year out for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in terms of depth position battles. And Deidre Sennett could figure into that mix. Again, local Florida guy, a former third round draft pick, which is, you know, nothing to just gloss over. He was a former third round draft pick. I think that that is a worthy investment in a player. And now we're going to see what he is going to be able to do here for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers going into the remainder of this offseason program, trying to Stick with the team as a backup defensive lineman who may look to get more and more opportunities moving down the line. So, yeah, this is a fine signing. I like that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers like to continue to bring in more depth and competition at position groups, especially along the defensive line, a position group that I know a lot of people were clamoring for there to be more people added into that mix, more competition to be added. I know that a lot of people are still waiting for Indomitian Sue or Jason Pierre-Paul or something, Rob Gronkowski, something along those lines. But again, I've said this in many videos and I will continue to say this. You never know who's going to make an impact. So I'm excited to see Deidre Sennett here on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and I can't wait to see what he is going to offer to this Buccaneers front seven. What do you guys think about this signing? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments section below. This Sunday, stay tuned. I do, hopefully, fingers crossed if everything goes right, have a very, very, very big interview set up. And I will say this, it's not Tom Brady, but it is a massive interview that will be coming up this Sunday. Again, hopefully if everything does go right, the biggest interview I will ever have on this channel. So, very excited to hopefully get that piece of content out for all of you folks. Again, if things do go well. So stay tuned for that on Sunday. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Leave your thoughts and opinions about the uh, Deidre uh, Senate signing down in the comments section below. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. But until the next video or the next live stream, guys, I will see you in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now and go Bucks.